Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by their six foot four QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Calvin Ridley, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. They'll look to throw. That's caught. And it's very quickly 8 to nothing. Well, I guess the opening drive touchdown wasn't enough. They wanted two instead of one on top of that. Well, this team is obviously going for the crusher. All right, they don't want to mess around with just kicking the standard extra point and kind of letting you off the hook for giving up a touchdown. Now they want to really rub your face in it and say, guess what? We're going to be doing this all game long. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team. And you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it. But otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense. Get things going and see how things settle in. Here's Manziel. He finds his target, Allen. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. The handoff to Ford up the middle. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Again, they turn to Ford. And a pretty good burst there as they'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stand. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Quinnen Williams. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out into some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. 
And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. This is Ford. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Eight yards on the carry there, and it'll wind up being the final play of this first quarter. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. Once more with Ford. As they come. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Jerome Ford punching it in from a yard away. And the Vikings are back within a couple of the lead. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Up to midfield. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Miami. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Dobbs. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. So trying to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were. Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! He's on his way! And he gets it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 78 yards. A oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Ford going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Manziel. Touchdown, Minnesota. Michael Wilson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Vikings are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Miami set to take over. 
And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at them, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest. With a guy with that type of speed, you do so. Send him deep, try to throw some air under it, and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now Dobbs. Looking for Ridley on the out route. He's got him. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. On first and ten, Dobbs. That's caught again by Schultz. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Dobbs to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Dobbs is throwing. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And the Dolphins are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes, it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. No move for the field goal unit. They're going to go here with five seconds left. A final shot before break. Dobbs toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. A final shot before break. Dobbs, he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. George Pickens as time expires in the first half. And the Dolphins have taken the lead on the final play of the first half. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone, and somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. Very easy for us to talk about up here that, yes, all that had to happen, but when time's running down, sometimes your brain compresses a little bit, too. They showed great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they got to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. And it's going to be caught. Not sure why they went for two, but they do get it. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters. Getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter. Here we go. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Hester to return from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. But the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, 
How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 23, here's second down and five. Now Manziel. No hesitation, goes right back to Likely. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll drop the throw. Now a quick throw there he is incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard, I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and 10 coming up. On play action, they'll throw. Catch made, right side by Wilson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching Phil, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 36. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. On the ground, it's four. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. They'll set up a throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and three. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now here on EA Sports. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Now back to throw. Rolling, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss.
Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Fairbairn able to put this one through, and that'll get the lead down to five. It's an interesting call there to take the three, and I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play. And, and there he goes again. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Miami. A big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. They'll try and throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Now Hester will get a shot. Returnable here for Hester. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by 13, 223 to play. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Finds his man over the middle. It's likely. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Here's Manziel. Finding out. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Here's first down. They'll look to throw again. Complete to Likely. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Manziel. That's pulled in by Wilson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 29-yard line. Back to throw again. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. So now on comes the Dolphins offense as he'll try and go for two here. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth.
After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Now Hester will get a shot. Returnable here for Hester. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations. Oh, right on the heels of the pick six. Another ball intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Battle. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only did they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. There's Dobbs to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Hester to return from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He finds his man complete. It's four. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason, but on game day, you both want to show your best, and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. So long, everybody.